professional boxer Ryan Garcia recently stunned the world with an unexpected victory over Devin Haney, who had entered their bout with a flawless record of 31 wins and no losses. Garcia's triumph was all the more remarkable given his recent behavior, which had led many to question his mental and physical readiness for the fight. In the lead-up to the match, Garcia's actions and statements had sparked widespread concern. He had developed an intense fascination with the secretive Bohemian Grove, exhibited signs of substance abuse, including alcohol and cocaine, and made alarming claims about Logan Paul's company Prime Hydration, suggesting that its products were lethal. These incidents seemed to paint a picture of a man spiraling out of control, echoing the tragic downward spirals of social media figures like Too Mad and Etika, whose lives were tragically cut short by their struggles with addiction and mental illness. The spectacle of Garcia's apparent unraveling was both mesmerizing and distressing. His every move and word were scrutinized by the public and the media, with many fearing that he was on a path to self-destruction. However, Garcia's shocking knockout of Haney flipped the narrative. With the world watching, he not only claimed a spectacular victory, but also made a startling revelation. Garcia disclosed that his recent controversial behavior was a calculated act, a strategic performance designed to mislead and manipulate public perception. On December 28, 2023, the boxing world buzzed with the announcement of a highly anticipated bout between Ryan Garcia and the then-undefeated Devin Haney. Initially, Garcia's behavior appeared relatively normal, albeit less engaging than usual, with his social media activities generating minimal attention. As the weeks passed, the excitement that typically surrounds such a high-profile fight failed to materialize, reflected in the dwindling engagement with Garcia's posts on platforms like Twitter. Bro fell off hard. He is a social media boxer now. You fell off. Yeah. You're gonna get knocked the fuck out. By early 2024, it was evident that public interest in Garcia's upcoming fight was not as intense as expected. This lack of enthusiasm seemed to spur Garcia into action, leading him to devise a strategy to reignite interest and stir controversy. On March 5, 2024, during a widely attended Twitter space that included controversial figures such as Andrew Tate, Garcia seized the spotlight with a shocking declaration. He claimed to possess video evidence of clandestine activities at Bohemian Grove, a place shrouded in conspiracy theories and rumored to be the site of secret elite gatherings involving dubious rituals. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Garcia's statement sent shockwaves through the sports world and beyond, raising eyebrows not only about the nature of the alleged evidence, but also about his focus and state of mind ahead of a critical athletic competition. His assertion that he would release this evidence when the time was right added an element of suspense and conspiracy to his public persona, further blurring the lines between his athletic career and personal exploits. Despite his claims, the purported Bohemian Grove footage remained unreleased, casting a shadow of doubt and speculation. Garcia later addressed the controversy in a post-fight podcast, admitting that his statements were partly true and revealing that his connections with influential political figures had granted him access to incriminating videos, documents documenting horrific acts at the Grove. Did you actually have videos of kids, things that I you actually do, I do have videos. You yeah. have videos? Yes, we have videos. Ryan Garcia's actions seemed increasingly calculated to stoke controversy and capture public attention. Initially, his startling claims about possessing video evidence related to secretive activities at Bohemian Grove marked the beginning of a series of provocations designed to thrust him back into the limelight. This first strategic move proved to be immensely successful, igniting a firestorm on social media platforms, particularly particularly Twitter, where he trended and successfully drew considerable attention to himself. Let me cook, you know what I mean? <laughs> As March progressed, Garcia escalated his approach by taking to Instagram and going live to launch a new situation, this time targeting Logan Paul and KSI's business, Prime Hydration. He provocatively accused the company of being managed by devil worshippers, a claim that once again went viral. This bold statement not only sparked widespread discussion and backlash, but also led to a notable spike in public interest, effectively diverting the spotlight towards Garcia as he prepared for his fight. But at this point, people were completely completely thrown off by Ryan, confused about his mental headspace, and even more concerned if he was even able to be prepared for the fight with Devin Haney. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. All three of you guys are sick. It's sick. Do not give Satan power. Do not go drink Prime. There's horrible chemicals. Prime tastes like straight shit. How, how the hell? They have no sugar, but it tastes sweet as fuck. That makes no sense. I am training. No, but it's not positive, Scott. They're trying to spin the narrative all crazy. Damn. They're sick bastards. Any organization who uses Prime is low-key working for the devil and they don't even know it. And I used to like Logan and everybody. I, think, I, thought, I thought they were cool. The repercussions of Garcia's statements were immediate and significant, 
Logan Paul, co-founder of Prime Hydration, addressed Garcia's accusations during an episode of his podcast, Impulsive. In a heated response, Paul dismissed Garcia as a dumb motherfucker. I, I gotta say something about, 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 about Ryan. Please, please. I'll say I'm one just thing. Sorry. Just, All right, Ryan, Ryan's yeah. a good friend. He's, he's obviously in some sort of mental breakdown, a manic state, that's what this is. Ryan has been intrigued by conspiracies True. in the past. Yep. In fact, on this very podcast, he told us he thinks the earth is flat. Oh, I forgot about no, that. No, I'm gonna remind you that the earth is not flat. I think flat earthers are some of the dumbest motherfuckers <laughs> walking this flat earth. Referencing a past incident where Garcia had mentioned flat earth theories and how he believed in how the earth was flat. Logan mentioned how he is not surprised that Ryan Garcia believes in all of these conspiracies. Paul's sharp rebuke highlighted the growing rift between the two, fueled by Garcia's controversial remarks, which had now raised a lot of question towards prime hydration and drawn mass criticism and this statement from Ryan was not false at all there are actual harmful chemicals within prime the chemical known as sucralose has been known for causing issues with health including disruption of gut bacteria increased appetite along with weight gain and potential negative effects on blood sugar regulation despite the apparent chaos and negative backlash Garcia's underlying strategy was clear and arguably effective each outrageous claim and public confrontation was meticulously planned to amplify his visibility and drum up interest in his fight against Haney. By intertwining controversy with his professional endeavors, Garcia not only managed to stay relevant, but also ensured that the boxing community and beyond were keenly focused on his next move. As Ryan Garcia prepared for his highly anticipated fight against Devin Haney, his public behavior appeared distinctly out of step with the typical regimen of a professional boxer, unlike his peers, who adhered to rigorous diets and strict training protocols. Garcia was frequently seen engaging in nightlife and consuming alcohol, a routine that seemed to fly in the face of conventional wisdom about athletic preparation. His own admissions on a podcast confirmed that these were not isolated incidents. He was, by his own account, drinking daily in the lead up to the fight. I barely tried, bro. I was drinking every day. <laughs> On Monday, I was at Tao Nightclub. Tuesdays, I was at Little Sister. Wednesdays, I went out. Thursday, I went out. Friday, I was drinking. I was doing whatever I want. The day of the fight, I drank a blue moon. I was chilling, bro. <laughs> this unconventional approach did more than just raise eyebrows among fans and sports commentators. It sowed seeds of confusion and doubt. Garcia's erratic behavior and sensational social media postings were not merely public missteps. They were strategic moves calculated to mislead and manipulate. To the outside world and notably to Devin Haney, these actions painted a picture of a fighter who was not taking his training or the upcoming contest seriously, perhaps indicating an easy victory for Haney. However, the reality of Garcia's condition and readiness was far different from the image he projected. His lifestyle choices, while publicly flaunted, were part of a psychological game aimed at unsettling his opponent by fostering a perception of unpreparedness. Do you have an extra beer? <laughs> All right. You said it was what? It was, uh, apple juice and oh, shit. <laughs> Garcia cleverly manipulated expectations, setting the stage for a dramatic reversal when the fight actually took place. In the ring, Garcia transformed. The man who had seemed unfocused and undisciplined in public was suddenly the epitome of concentration and skill. The stark contrast between his public persona and his professional execution caught Haney off guard, disrupting his mental game and tactical preparations. Haney, who had perhaps anticipated an easy win against a seemingly distracted and disoriented opponent, found himself facing a competitor who was anything but the figure portrayed in the weeks leading up to the fight. Garcia's strategy extended beyond mere physical preparation. It was a masterclass in psychological warfare. By controlling the narrative and playing to the public's expectations, he engineered an environment ripe for surprise. This approach not only heightened the dramatic impact of his performance, but also underscored the complex interplay between perception and reality in professional sports, where what is seen in public can often be a deliberate facade designed to achieve strategic advantages. Promise.